Hi, everybody. This is Jim Cornette, pro wrestling legend, and you're listening to the Book in the Territory Unprofessional Wrestling Podcast. This is the artist formerly known as Daryl Van Horn, James Mitchell, the Sinister Minister, and I'm here to let you know I would rather slam my cock in a car door than to miss the dulcet tones of Hard Body Harper, my illegitimate son on Booking the Territory podcast. <laughs> Welcome back, everyone, to this week's episode of our Smoky Mountain Wrestling Podcast. This is Smoky Mountain Wrestling, episode 198 from November the 11th, 1995, and this is Booking the Territory, the unprofessional wrestling podcast, where today I'm sitting here with Doc and Hardbody Hopper, including this one, three more to go, boys. Mm. We're going to have a party once the quarantine's over. What are we going to do? What are we going to do here, fellas? Smoke crack. We're going to get a classic motors and buy a, a, a convertible Mustang. And then smoke crack. I don't know about that, but Doc, how are well, you? Well, I just assumed that I was going to smoke crack because apparently you've been smoking crack, Mike. Why do you say that? Harper, this, you know what this fool tried to get, tried to tell me just like in the last couple of days? Huh? He was like, brah, brah. You know what we need to do? No, <laughs> no, I don't. Please enlighten me. We need to have another BTT Broads episode. I was like, that sounds like the last thing we need to do. Y'all should do that. I mean, people are asking for it. Notice that you Harper said, what? Let me tell you. Notice let me tell you where you that, messed that, up. You just messed notice, up by saying it because now even more people are going to ask for it. No, 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 no. They know better. And notice how Harper said y'all need to do that. He yeah, is. yeah. Y'all should do that. See. That'd be great. The problem, <laughs> well, the problem like is, great. it's even harder now to do that during the quarantine. Yes, that's the ch- like I didn't want to type out a long dissertation on it, but that's a ch- that's a challenge. I know people go, but you're home, yes, uh-huh. and we are constantly dealing with the children. Uh-huh. Doc more than me, mine are older. It's not as bad, but Doc's got little ones and it's not easy <laughs> no but you know we'll we'll see i guess i don't i mean i don't want to i don't want to promise anything but just i just we thought, get i just I told, in... Go ahead. I told well my exact words i think were <clears throat> that we That's needed you to idea. report that we needed you to report to the btt drug testing center to piss in a little cup great edge brother Straight edge, huh? You and CM Punk. Not Tommy yeah. Rich, man. Dude, Come can you on. imagine when Tommy Rich pisses in a cup? I mean, it must be like battery acid coming out. It probably starts smoking. It's probably yeah. like, it's, it's that, you, Harper does this, you know, that night you're out and you go too hard. <laughs> Maybe it's that second night you're out and it's hard in a row and <laughs> it's, it's that syrupy, dark yellow. Oh, God. <laughs> it looks like fucking like fucking uh, egg yolk. <laughs> <laughs> you, can't tell. You, can't, you can't tell if it's better that you got that out of your body or if it's something important that you might need to stuff back in. Egg yolk. Uh. Ugh. Ugh. That's gross. That's just gross. We should, <laughs> we should clean up our act. We really should. Oh, boy. All right. So you want to get started, well, Doc? Uh, yeah, I think we're to the portion of the run of the promotion where <coughs> it would be better to break up, but we're thinking about all the good times we had, and we just can't pull the trigger and ask for our, you know, our key back for the apartment. But we all know where this is going. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so let's get going on the video portion. First, shout out to Disrespect for the Classy Marky Blassie, Kyle Riley, My Children's Yo Ice. Thank you for your generous patronage each and every month. And something that I need to report on this week's episode is, like I said, it's episode 198, November 11th of 95. Uh, we are in taping number one from Cumberland, Kentucky at Cumberland High School, drawing 200 people if you believe the internet. And I guess the importance of this taping is it is the last TV taping that the company did before folding. So this is the last location, Cumberland, Kentucky, that is. Now, 
we get into this week's episode, uh, we get our standard opening that we've been getting, uh, Les and Chip, uh, you know, normal thing, they run through it, and then we go straight to the uh, replay of Tommy Rich versus Buddy Landell from last week. Uh, so we get some of the stuff we saw, and then we go to the close of that match, uh, which we were told last week that we would see uh, since they went off air. The cameras were still rolling. The match ends by DQ because Cornette came in while Buddy had the figure four on Tommy Rich. Then Butch Cassidy runs in, but he and Buddy get beat down more by the Punisher, Tommy Rich, and Jim Cornette. The bell is ringing. Punisher finally choke slams the little fella, Butch Cassidy. And then we cut back to this week. It really wasn't much. Well, like, I, I, let me say this. We didn't miss, miss much last week. It just, just because it starts off at the very end and they don't really go that much longer. I don't know, Doc. I'm sorry, Hopper. Do you have anything from this? No, I don't. <laughs> Here's the thing. I'm not really too interested in Rich and Landell anyway. Yeah. So a recap of it is not going to work either. That's the only thing I wanted to see was was Sergeant Rock. Chocolate so titties. let me. Yeah, let me, that's what I was like. Okay, well that's something good, you know, something I get to see, and then. I think Harper's yeah. ready to hit the tagline. He yeah. wants to see chocolate titties. You're so dirty. <laughs> What's chocolate wrong with you, man? Titties. Come on, man. <laughs> I mean, Mike doesn't even say stuff like that. I sure don't. Oh, 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 but he does. No, no, no. Doc, Doc, Doc's never seen a, a pair of those in his life with his, with his, I'm talking about, I know he's seen it on TV. I'm talking about like in, in yeah. arm's reach. He's Person. never seen a uh, pair of those. You don't think so? I just can't say. I mean, I know what you've told me before. Hopper, he was talking nice. to me one time and he's like, yeah, African American women just don't do it for me. Yeah. And that's fine. That's your preference. I like, that's your preference. I like, I like you high, like pink, high, pink, pink, pink titties. <laughs> I like high bony cheekbones and spiky haircuts and Karens, you know. <laughs> Karens. Oh, Karen. Oh, Karen, bro. <laughs> oh, Karens. What is wrong with the Karens of the world these days? Holy crap. Let's keep going. All right. So Chip, Chip Kessler does throw us to a video package of the thugs winning the Smoky Mountain Wrestling Tag Team titles from Al Snow and Unabomb. Um, God. Yeah. yeah like they no, go that's back the same that thing I far. And then, uh, me remember that that was because, um, well, anyway, they go to the replay, and then they show the the friction right here between the rock and roll and the and the thugs. I, I I'm wondering now if the reason I just hit me. I'm like I'm thinking that they do this long recap here because I, I guess Jimmy knew that Morton was coming back, and maybe that's why because because he knew Ricky Morton was coming in for Thanksgiving Thunder. I don't know. I'm just I'm speculating. Anyway, they do this long recap with the thugs and the rock and roll. Uh and of course Gibson turning. Very, very long recap here. I don't really have much from it. Um it kind of really hurts to see all this because you're just like, man, this was really a great book, this whole promotion. But the final chapter is just not fun at all. And that was my comments as I watched this replay. Doc, anything you want to add? Man, I'd love to just come in and <clears throat> add a bunch of stuff, but I got nothing, man. Getting yeah. a little depressed. I don't think people realize it. It's very depressing. We've spent a lot of our time on this. It's extremely depressing. Watch the end of this. I mean, I kind of know. I mean, I don't, but I kind of know how corny felt. <laughs> Except for losing a ton of money, you know how you Yeah, play. yeah. Well, then I would jump off the cliff that this promotion went off of. I would follow it down. Yeah, I hear that. You'd, right. have found, you'd, have found, you'd have found Robert Fuller in my backyard yelling, don't do the Von Eric thing, little fella. <laughs> I ain't going to nice. do the Von Eric thing. We've had some great moments in this show. All right. we have, And we're going to recap them because we can't go out on a low. We're going to have a top moments of Smoky Mountain – we got to do some things. We're going to try to get Jim on maybe some other things. We're, we're going to finish this thing up strong, right, Mike? 
Yeah, it's just not going to be a weekly thing after we get to episode 200. Well, we'll and I've never know. seen 200. Well, you ain't missing shit. Let me just say that. I'm going to go That's to Robert nice. Gibson and Jim Cornette right here. This is after Gibson's turn that we saw last week or talked about last week. Here it is. You know, it was so funny to see the looks on everybody's faces, the shock and the bewilderment and how stunned they were in that double chain match at Halloween Scream in Johnson City. But when you think about it, you realize that Robert Gibson had no other choice than to do what he did. You see, you may wonder why he did it. You may wonder how he managed to do it. But it's really quite simple if you sit and look at the facts. The thugs, the thugs were the ones who deprived the Rock and Roll Express of the tag team title to begin with, and Smoky Mountain Wrestling let them get away with it. If it hadn't been for Tracy Smothers, then Ricky Morton and Smoky Mountain Wrestling wouldn't have got in this brouhaha, and Morton wouldn't have got canned. If it hadn't have been for Smoky Mountain Wrestling allowing situations like that to go on, this man would have a partner, this man would be a tag team champion. He has gotten the short end of the stick from everybody all down the line for the past year. Tracy Smothers, the dirty white boy, Smoky Mountain Wrestling, everybody, all of his supposed friends. You know who the only guy is that has helped him in the last year? <laughs> Me, Jim Cornette. And when I called Robert up, because we had got kind of close last year at Christmas Chaos when I helped the Rock and Roll win the tag team title back. When I called Robert up and I let him know that I was the only one looking out for his best interest, that he'd been deprived, that he had been disrespected, that everybody was jealous of his success because he's the man who carried Ricky Morton on his back. He was the man who was the strong part of the Rock and Roll Express. He was the man who won five NWA World Tag Team titles. He was the man who won a dozen Smoky Mountain Wrestling Tag Team titles. Think back. You saw the Rock and Roll Express wrestle? Who got the snot kicked out of him? Ricky Morton. Who finally got that tag and got in there and cleaned house? And believe me, I was on the wrong end of a bunch of it. Robert Gibson. Well, when I let him know that I had his best interest at heart, he had no other choice than to do what he did in Johnson City. And Robert, the only question I got to ask you is, how did it feel? I tell you, Jim, it really <laughs> felt good right there in Johnson City. Because, you know, like you said, the thugs, they've been jealous of the Rock and Roll Express for a long, long time. When I grabbed this racket, I had the chance. <laughs> When I had a chance, just hit that Tracy Smothers as hard as I could. I knocked a home run, Tracy Smothers. And if you don't like it, just stick your nose where I belong, son, because I got one thing for you. What? A good butt whooping. That's exactly right. Thugs, <laughs> you think you got a knife sticking in your back now? <clears throat> you just wait you cross his path again. He's going to give it a little twist. Because not only is he the man now, but now that he's a member of the militia, Rock and Roll Express Robert Gibson is dead. Because this man from henceforth is Robert Gibson, the king of rock and roll. And he's going to reign for a long, long time. <laughs> All right, we Doc, can you, can you uh, mute, mute yourself before you clear the, uh, the yeah, ejaculation bro. from your throat? I mean, you're, you're blasting you the his ear. I mean, come on. What? <clears throat> oh. <laughs> of course, he's going to do it again because he's an asshole. Doc, you got anything from this? Man, seasonal allergies. Seasonal was good. allergies. Seasonal allergies are crazy. You thought Gibson was good, huh? I thought he was all right. I mean, he wasn't terrible. I mean, he still mumbles, but that's his gimmick. I mean, it's his thing. I mean, you that's know. his gimmick. Come on, I think, come but, on. I mean, it's not his gimmick. That's his you know what gimmick. I mean? Gimmick. That's nice. That's what you said. Like, 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 <laughs> like he talks normal. He can't be a heel. He can't, he can't be a heel because he's not like Kamala. So. Why can't he talk? And then he talks, and then you realize why he can't talk. He's going to put something on you, Ajax can wash off. That was funny. Leave him alone. Boy, I'm put something on you. Ajax can't wash off. Man, he's sitting there with his long sleeve shirt on and, and his little pudge and his receding hairline, and he he's more sympathetic than... I mean, that guy was a sex symbol. Was is the key word, Harper. Was. Yeah. Now it's your turn. That fucking ponytail. Mm. It's Jesus just... Jesus Christ, huh? Uh, nothing about him screams heel. Really? He doesn't, yeah. have, he doesn't have the personality for it. He is oh, too I mild. got you. He is too mild-mannered. Mm -hmm. He's not I like... Got you. <laughs> it's the he... same guy. It's the same. No. Good point, Harper. He, nothing about him changed there. He yes. could be he, he could be a heel, but he needs not speak. Right. Like he's his manager has to like, and I'm not comparing him to Bobby Eaton, but you know how Bobby Eaton never really talked. 
I yeah. think it's a good comparison, actually. Um, Bobby Eaton never talked. I mean, literally, we've seen him talk in the five, four and four plus years we've done our Saturday night shows. We've seen Bobby Eaton say a few words on like two different occasions, and I, I'm right. serious when I say that. I can think of two times where he mumbled, not he mumbled, but he said just a few words. Other than that. Corny did all talk, talking. Dennis Condry was the same way. Dennis never would talk either. So that's my point. Like, he can be a heel. It's not that he doesn't know how to be a heel as a wrestler, but he needs not ever try to portray that via a promo. You got to leave that's that what, up to the manager. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. I don't how think did he what, was bad there, did, though, is what Harper, I'm saying. Harper nailed it. How did what he just do differ from what he used to do? Yeah. I don't, I don't know. We're We're grasping at straws here. Gotta talk about something. You gotta we talk about well, something. And we might as well talk about it like it's real if we're gonna do that. And you got a good point there, pal. Okay. Hopper, anything else from Gibson and uh Corny yeah. okay? No? Nothing? Okay. Nothing. Well, I tell you what, let's go to Dirty White Boy and some others here. Uh they they've got something to tell them too, uh, after what we just saw and witnessed with Gibson turning on them. The Thugs and Tracy, the fans have just got a chance to take a look at uh, bring us right up to snuff here from the very first time. The Rock and Roll Express were late for the title shot, which put you guys in the driver's seat and right down to the tennis racket incident. And, of course, now Thanksgiving Thunder is a grudge six man. You guys are against Gibson and the bodies. You've got a mystery partner. What's that about? Oh, well, Lance, let me tell you something, Wes. This is a crazy world, man. I'm sitting out here. I'm bewildered. I'm just playing. We're just playing freaked out. I mean, I saw Jim Cornette come at me with a tennis racket. I looked up, and I see Robert grab him. And the next thing I know, I get whacked. And I turn around, and I see Robert whacked Dirty White Boy. We did what we had to do to win that match, and we thought we had a man we could trust. Robert Gibson, one half of the Rock and Roll Express, four-time world tag team champions, the whole nine yards. Let me tell you something, King of Rock, Robert Gibson. And these hundreds of people right here in Cumberland, Kentucky, and the millions of people right there at home. You turn your back on not just us, but those people right there. Do you think we're going to sit back? We're going to take this this wrong. You want to be part of Jim Cornette's militia? That's fine. There's a lot of people out there, a lot of people out there that want to get even with the heavenly bodies and Jim Cornette. We've got a mystery partner for Thanksgiving Thunder, and if you think we're going to sit back and lay aside and let you knock us around, you are dead wrong, guys. we got a surprise for them, right, white boy? That's right. You know, Jim Cornette, you want to know who is the mystery partner. Well, you'll not find out until that night when he walks the aisle and he crawls up in the ring and he looks at your fat melon head and says, hi, Jimmy. And as far as the heavenly bodies and Robert Gibson are concerned, it's simple. We're just going to beat you up. So be ready for us, boys. We're on our way. Thanksgiving Thunder, the thugs, and the mystery partner. You won't want to miss that one. All right, Doc, any thoughts on what we heard there? Who's the mystery partner? Um, well, yeah. we'll have to wait and see. Oh. We're going to be waiting we're going to be waiting a while, huh? Yeah, I'm still waiting. Yeah. That wasn't bad though. No, it was I good. Mean, it's Tracy and Dirty White Boy are professionals. That was that was that was decent. Um and he how can I say it? He um you know, Tracy seems very defeated right there. It was very realistic. He was so shocked at what happened to him. So that that's what I that's actually what I liked about that. He was he was very much like, oh man, we're fucked, you know? That's that that's what I thought was good there. So anyway, uh Hopper, anything from you? Yeah. Yeah, he was like, God, dude, you know, what the fuck? Never saw that coming. He didn't see it coming. Yep. But um I did. But it did. So that leads us then to the next match, which is Bobby Blaze versus Robert Gibson uh, with Jim Cornette in Gibson's corner. Gibson wins with a neckbreaker and pins Bobby. Doc, any other thoughts? Or Hopper. Whoever wants to go first. Bob Blaze in for the finale. Yeah. Oh, Bobby. Bobby, thank you for all the shows you did with us, by the way. We appreciate you. Um, Hopper, anything from this? No, I mean, it, it was nice to see Bobby Blaze in there, getting his it stuff was. in. It was. Getting his stuff in, having a match with Gibson. Other than that, Bobby came in, ate the pin. Why? He's the champ here. He was the world champion. 
I don't, it, he was a Smoky Mountain champion. That, that wasn't a designated world title, Doc. Oh. Yeah. Well, it was But you're right. Gibson never held that title. No. That's right. Yeah. Yeah, Gibson never held it. So anyway. All right. Um, Let's keep going then. So we go to Kessler's Corner with Jim Cornette, Tommy Rich, and the Punisher. But first, we go to Commissioner Armstrong for a few words and then a replay of the Joe LaDuke video package. And then we go to Buddy. So, Bob cuts a promo. I'm not going to play it. We see a replay of the same video package we saw last week from Joe LaDuke. Um, and then I got to get the buddies because this shit, he did say something that popped me. <laughs> Buddy's great. You know that? He really is. Let's go to it right now. Cornette, there's a new general in town. That's right. I'm assembling the troops myself. The nature boy Buddy Landell back better than ever. And let me tell you something, Jimmy Cornette, Thanksgiving Thunder is just my game. You see, I figured this way, Bullet Bob Armstrong's got a very long memory, and he remembers what Terry Gordy and the Punisher and you did to him. He's going to be the only lumberjack. Anybody in, go bang to the bleachers with their head. Anybody out of the ring, kabam with a baseball bat. Let me tell you something, Jimmy Cornette, I have got the biggest, baddest man ever to be in professional wrestling, the original. Canadian lumberjack Joe LaDuke in my corner. The man terrorizes and hurts his own self. What do you think he's going to do to you? So let me explain something to you, Jimmy. You liked me. You jumped on the Nature Boy Buddy Landell bandwagon when I become the Smoky Mountain Heavyweight Champion. Why? Because you didn't have to tell me what to do. I've got a mind like a steel trap myself. I tell elephants what to do, what to remember. <laughs> Let me explain something to you, Jimmy. I've screwed with you. I've cost Tommy Rich a couple of matches. The, ma the midget coming out of the paper bag, that was all constructed by me. I've only yet to begun to screw with your mind, Jimmy Cornette. You understand what I'm saying? So Thanksgiving Thunder, it's all coming down to this. Tommy Rich and the Punisher. If I get my hands on Tommy Rich, Joe LaDuke's going to take care of the Punisher. If I get my hands on the Punisher, Joe LaDuke's going to take care of Tommy Rich. And Tommy and Punisher, if you run from Joe LaDuke, which you will, believe me, when you look at him in the ring, Bullet Bob Armstrong is going to take your stinking head off with a baseball bat. Thanksgiving Thunder, gear up! All right, fans! Um, so, Doc, um, did Buddy pop you too when he said, I tell elephants what to do? <laughs> Come on. And, and couldn't they get the stuff on top of the locker out of the shot? Yeah, for real, <laughs> huh? <laughs> he notes. Is that Jimmy's notes up there? What's No, that's what's like school shit. What's going on? <laughs> oh, man. I guess, yeah. That's someone's lessons, uh, lesson plan. Not a trapper keeper. No. Ugh. That's all you got from this is, ugh? Even Buddy didn't pop you with the I tell elephants what to do? I guess. All right. Oh, I didn't know you'd be that upset, man. Okay. Um, Hopper, any thoughts on it? I mean... Look out. Can I, can I tell y'all something? What? This is a struggle. <laughs> it's sad. We're, oh. we're really... We're here because of our deep love of not only each other, but the <laughs> Army, and really wrestling in general. But this is tough. 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 Let's go to Kessel's Corner with um, uh, Cracky McSnorter and Jim Cornette. Back here in the ring, the militia and General, you guys are going to have your hands filled up during Thanksgiving Thunder. And Tommy, I just want you to promise me one more time because we've talked about what a psychopath Joe LaDuke is and we've talked about how mad Bullet Bob is. I just want you to promise me that you have everything well in hand as captain of this team. Well, Jimmy, I want to do the best I can. You know, you take a rat, kind of like these stinking rednecks sitting out here. You back a rat in the corner, and I'm sure at y'all's house, y'all seen a rat. Well, when a rat gets real mad, you back him in that corner. He comes out, biting, scratching, kicking, stomping. Joe LaDuke, Buddy Landell, you think you got your rigger, boy? You better watch 
you back. Joe LaDuke's the craziest man in the world, man. Yeah, that's right. Well, no, Jenna. It's only, it's only just goes to show how bad Smokey Mountain Wrestling wants to get at us that they'll allow Joe LaDuke to be involved in this thing. He's been banned everywhere. He's been suspended everywhere. The man's a psychopath, and he just as soon slices his own self up and look in the mirror so you can imagine what he does to other people. And Buddy Landell has already said that Bullet Bob Armstrong is ready to be turned loose with that baseball bat, and if somebody tries to get in the ring, he's going to knock them out. If somebody tries to get out of the ring, he's going to knock them back in. And Smokey Mountain Wrestling is willing to allow a man with a deadly weapon to be at ringside. Well, I'm going to tell you this, Buddy Landell, you may think you've got the malicious box against the wall, but that's just the position we like to be in when we come out shooting. So at Thanksgiving Thunder, Joe LaDuke, the crazy man, we got a straight jacket for you right here. He's going to tie you up. And Bullet Bob Armstrong, you've come at me with that Tennessee toothpick before, and I've managed to escape you. I promise I'll think of something this time. And Buddy Landell, the wildfire is going to spread all over you because Thanksgiving Thunder is not going to be the end of the militia like Buddy wants it to be. It's going to be the end of Nature Boy Buddy Landell, and I promise you that. All right, fans. Thank you, wildfire. Thanksgiving Thunder, Punisher and Rich against Leduc and Landell. Bullet Bob and ringside back right after this. I don't have nothing from it. Harper, do you? <laughs> no. They're saying words. I mean... It's not bad to be called rednecks. Yeah, it's not. It's not bad. Tommy Rich actually was kind of funny there. I like. Oh, I don't want to keep repeating myself. We're just watching the death of this thing. That's the problem. Yeah. Um. Doc, anything from you? No. No. Well, we keep moving. That's nice. It really is. We keep moving, and we go to Ron Davis and. We got Jim Cornette who's making an announcement, and he's calling out Sergeant Rock. If you're watching on our Patreon video, you see him continuing to talk, and pretty soon you're going to see who Harper spoiled last week, making their debut this week, Sergeant Rock, as being none other than the beautiful and stacked Jacqueline, a.k.a. Miss Texas. <sighs> Doc, this doesn't, this isn't Doc Speed, so I'm sure he's just kind of like, nah, so bruh. Girl, make my heart stop. Mm, mm, mm. Like she'll, whip tall... your ass. she'll whip your ass for talking about it like that. Man, she look like a... That's a hell of a milkshake right there, boy. I mm, mean, she mm, my mm. speed, but I got to respect the fact that she would whoop all three of our asses in a, in a Smoky Mountain minute. Yeah. That's a Do you remember bug, the um, Memphis remember clip? Yeah, and I remember her throwing hands with Kevin Sullivan, too. <laughs> she, she's a badass. Uh, so anyway, we got Ron Davis versus Sergeant Rock. And yeah, Sergeant Inter- Rock wins Inter- by Inter- Inter- gender. Boy, do you want to talk about that? Not my favorite. What's Corny's take on intergender? Usually, yeah. it, but he looks pretty happy with it there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not trying to say. Look, what do we say, Doc? We call it down the middle, right? Yeah. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not saying that it can be hypocritical. I'm just saying, and you, in a similar point you made, you know how Corny talks about Kevin Owens and not being in shape, but I mean, white boy ain't a Greek god either. So in the same vein, he criticizes intergender, but I mean, mm. what do we have here? Mm. Now, granted, I think Jackie is as tough as most men. Um, just saying. I don't know. Any other thoughts, Doc? If anybody was going to do this, she's the right candidate. Oh yes, one hundred percent. Because she looks the part. Legit. Yeah. 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 All right. Any other thoughts, Hopper? As we watch her win. I mean, she hit a nice DDT in this thing. She sure did. Yeah, I've been ready to time her. 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 Uh, her boobs popped out on TV. Oh, yeah. Come on. Oh yes. Why? Is it, why? Why? What? I sure do. 
I sure do. Mm. Mm. Yeah, I remember. Mm. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner, pal. That's right. Damn right about that. Okay, we go to a replay after yeah. Jackie wins, or Sergeant Rock, I should say. Replay of Cornette squirting ketchup on the little fella, Butch Cassidy, with the help of Tommy Rich. <laughs> And then, uh, Hopper, did you have anything from Butch Cassidy's promo? It made me laugh. He's not bad. He's really not, man. It's He's kind of funny. He's it's like a mini for. Steve Austin con, to, to, to a certain extent. <laughs> Let's go to Butch Cause Cassidy. Because he's, right? he's a little midget redneck, and he's, he's, and he's fucking ready to kick ass. It made me do nothing but laugh. Here it is. You chokeslam me, my friend? That hurt me for two or three days. I couldn't hardly move. For all the pain I got from that, nothing hurt me any more than Mr. Cornette pouring ketchup on me. <laughs> I kind of like ketchup, but not coming from Jim Cornette. Thanksgiving Thunder, Mr. Cornette, I'm going to do what I said. I'm going to kick your brains clean through the floor of everywhere that may be. So you bring it on. Turkey Thunder, Thanksgiving Thunder, come on down. <laughs> With me, General. I just couldn't stop laughing the first time I saw like that. He's, uh, I don't know, like he works at the carnival. Yes. Yes, he does. Oh, he's doing like the a commercial for a used car sales, uh, a used car lot. Come on down. <laughs> yeah, That's yeah. A good car, Papa. Harper, nobody knows what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> that commercial that played in South Louisiana and Mississippi. <laughs> uh, Pawpaw's Camper City. That's good car, Pawpaw. That's good truck, Pawpaw. Uh, yeah. Um, Doc, you got anything? Any thoughts on Butch Cassidy right there? He should have never sold the ketchup. Eh, maybe so. Turkey well, Thunder, though. <laughs> Turkey Thunder, that's right. Let's go to Cornette and Sergeant Rock here. Um, yeah, let's go to Cornette and Sergeant Rock here. Here it is. This lady is going to cover your back. This is the lady that's... Let me just explain something to you, Les Thatcher. By the way, don't stand too close to Sergeant Rock. Your, your pacemaker may not be able to take it. I see garage doors all over the town opening up right and left. Let me explain something about Sergeant Rock. Not only is she an accomplished lady wrestler, not only is she one of the most military-minded individuals that I've ever met and a master drill sergeant, but she also is a former Miss Texas beauty pageant winner. She's got it all. Brains, brawn, and beauty. And I'm going to say this. I've been looking for somebody to be my drill sergeant for a long time. Shannon Faulkner called up. She wanted to enlist, but she couldn't get in shape to make the cut. But finally, Sergeant Jacqueline Rock is here in Smoky Mountain Wrestling and here in the militia to do one thing, and that's keep these insidious perpetrators off my back and out of my way so that I can go on to lead my elite troops to victory. And the first nuisance that she's going to get rid of at Thanksgiving Thunder is this Wolfman character. She's going to wrestle a Wolfman. Well, that... well, of course she is, because she's not only going to wrestle a Wolfman, she's going to beat his stinking brains out. She's going to beat the fur off of him at Thanksgiving Thunder and get him out of my way. He's a thorn in my side. I'm sick of looking at him, and Wolfman is going to be his... Wait, wait, hey. wait, wait a minute. Come on, come on. Here comes the wolf man now, baby. Don't you touch me. Hey, this is Sergeant Rock. This is what I've been waiting for all this time. You, right. you have pulled some of the most dastardly deeds I've ever seen in my life. But I have got to do this. I want to talk to the commissioner and get this taken care of and done away with. This ain't even right. A what, woman? What's your problem? Hey, hey, let, let, me, let me just explain one thing to you, pal. If you are worried about hitting a woman, don't worry, because she ain't worried about hitting you. <laughs> Come on, come on. Yes. Come on that and, and Sergeant Rocker. Come on, come on. This lady has got more backbone and, and the wolf on the move after Sergeant Rock and General Jim Cornette. And of course, this is all coming together on Thanksgiving Thunder. Let's hear more about that right now. Hopper, what did you say Jesus at? 
Captain <laughs> Caveman got his ass kicked. <laughs> why? Why did you say Jesus though? It's just, I mean, look at him. <laughs> A woman. <laughs> What's <laughs> funny? He starts getting his ass whipped, and then he eventually gets up and fights back. And I guess he chases after her, and then he comes back through the camera chasing her. And that's when you popped. <laughs> yeah, look at him. He's just like, hey. Oh, uh, right here, right here. <laughs> He's like, Arr! where'd they go? And then he... Where'd they go. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Jesus Christ. Hey, Wolf, whip the Wolfman's ass, and then they go to a Thanksgiving thunder plug. Um, Doc, what are your thoughts on this? Man, we got a run-in from Wolfman violating our next man up principle. Um, I think we all just lived vicariously through Corny and Sergeant Rock get, be kicking the shit out of the Wolfman. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. It would have been. Better. It would have been better if it had come out and said chocolate titties. It would have been oh. funny if it would have been funny if Wolfman instead of like if he'd have been like I got jungle fever and been like I you know. That's nice. I don't know. I'm just trying to fix. He's trying. He's trying. He's trying to make up something that'll pop people. It would have been funny if he'd have came out and been like. Oh, I don't know. God almighty, look at him. He's a mess. I don't know is, how to explain he, it. He, I mean, he is mud show. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. This, what everybody doesn't understand is Harper's popping and you're popping too, Doc. When he gets up after they beat him down, it's I don't know how to describe it. You've got to lear, you've got to watch the episode. <laughs> he gets up and he's like raw, and then she runs and he chases after her, and then they yeah. come back across the camera, and for whatever reason, that second time across the camera, we're popping off of. Just watch it again. I guarantee you, all three of us are going to laugh when we see it. He I guarantee is, you. He is the definition of an outlaw wrestler. Let me tell you something. Uh, We're laughing and not in a good way. It's so terrible. Yeah, we don't, don't watch that. Harper, do you know what I mean when I say we, we're laughing when he comes through the second time and we can't even yeah. figure out why? <laughs> Here it comes uh, again. Poor God. wolf, man. Uh, okay. He's the, wolf, cave, man. he's the wolf in the wolf pack that all the rest of them are wait, sitting around waiting on because he's stuck, tired, he can't go. Yeah. Come on, Wolfie. Yeah. Ooh, ooh, I'll be there in a minute. Ooh. All right. <sighs> God. Let's keep going. We then go to a Thanksgiving Thunder Tour plug, and as we can see on the screen on our Patreon video at tinyurl.com slash BTT. if you're not a patron, become one. We see November 23rd, Knoxville, Tennessee, Civic Coliseum. November 24th, Barberville, Knox Central High. November 25th, Johnson City, Tennessee, Freedom Hall. November 26th, Cookville, Tennessee, Community Center. That's this year's Thanksgiving Thunder Tour. I think I got to read the article again. I think Corny said on the 25th when he saw the crowd that they had at that time, that's when he realized. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, we got funny. memes flying across. <laughs> Damn, where'd you find that, Hopper? It's a gif of this. Where'd you get that? That's the when I saw him just now, it made me think of that. It looks just like him. It's a gif of, yeah. of like a like an animated um video That's from game. A video game called uh Metal Slug. Metal and I was Slug. Like, I was like, he looks just like the the the, the fucking POW guy from fucking Metal Slug. That's supposed to be a POW guy? Yeah. Jesus Christ. Wow. Okay. That does look like him, though. That's, That's the first thing. It just popped into my head when I saw it. 
All right. Okay. Mm. All right. Let's keep going. So after the plug for the Thanksgiving Thunder uh, tour, we then get a replay of Halloween Scream tour in the night. Gordy lashed Brad uh, with the belt across his hydrated back. Boy, he is teeing off on Brad as Brad is handcuffed yeah. to those uh, ropes. Um, that was pretty, pretty vicious. Um, listen to last week's show if you want to know how Brad lost and why he got lashed. And then Brad Armstrong cuts a promo and Brad mentions uh, he's going to get back at Gordy at Thanksgiving Thunder. And then Brad says he's going to get some payback on Mosh for helping Gordy win at the Halloween Scream Tour. Hopper, it was pretty straightforward. I don't have anything else from it. Did you yeah, from Brad right there? No, no. And it was very short. I mean, it was like 20 yeah, seconds long. Short it was, sweet. It yeah. Yep, he kept it short and sweet. Um, Brad Armstrong then comes out and he's going to take on Mosh in this week's main event. Uh, Brad wins the match in about four minutes. It was pretty quick when he hits the Russian leg sweep. Unfortunately, after the match, Thrasher, Masha's partner, hits the ring, and Gordy does too. Uh, but Brad finds a way to fight back, and he sends them all packing and powdering out of the ring. Um, Harper, anything from how this match ended and all goes down? No. Fucking headbangers. Yeah. Um... Oh. Damn, what was that? Fuck him. What? Doc, did you hear that? Yeah, dude. Hmm. It must be that might be one of our um one of our USBs doing that. What it do? It popped. It made some weird metallic noise. Yeah. Uh. I don't know. But uh we're almost done, so no worries. Okay. So uh, you said nothing on this uh, with Brad sending him packing. Doc, you got anything? <laughs> uh, we need more Wolfman comedy. That kept this show going for about five minutes on a high note. Uh. This uh, is right. Okay, I guess Doc's got nothing. Uh, so after that, uh, they tell us where Smoky Mountain is going to be this week, and we see a final promo from Brad that's another short one. Brad talks about the Bad Street Death Match, where each guy will have a leather strap on them at Thanksgiving Thunder, and that's how we go off air. And we officially, at this point, have only two more to go as we head to the literal last inning and home stretch of this thing. Now, we're going to do some disability checks in a second. That's before nice. we before we do that, what? Just think, right when they get like a hot black chick, they they fucking fold up for you. Perfect timing for you, man. I'm sorry. Wow, wow, that's not okay. Uh, at least you're not blaming her. I thought you were about to blame her. It's Tommy no. Rich who killed it. Gotcha. Yeah, definitely not. Definitely not Miss Jackie's fault. I know, man. Killed the hard on, right? What you gonna uh. do about that, brother? Uh, we do need to do disability checks before we do so. Uh, I want to remind everyone, please use our Amazon referral link. It's tinyurl.com slash Amazon. Great way to support this show without spending anything extra. Again, it's tinyurl.com slash Amazon. Give that link to the wives, girlfriends, boyfriends, whatever you have in your life. Give that link to them and use. tell them to use it uh, each and every time they shop on Amazon. Again, it's tinyurl.com slash Amazon. Uh, Doc, are you there? I'm here. Disability checks. How many are you giving this one? God. Let me remind you, there were a lot of replays in this. Yeah, and... Oof. Ugh. 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 <laughs> <laughs> we are not going to do well in 1990 WCW. I can tell you that right now. No, we will. We'll do well. Because there's 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 more comedy there. Man, I'm gonna say a five point two. Ugh. Ugh. Five point two. All right. Um, I'm gonna give this one a D again. Um, <laughs> I, what does I mean, it I'm... take to get an F? Yeah, I mean, fuck. <laughs> I mean, everyone I, I... passes, Mike. Well, technically, you don't pass with a D, do you? You can, right? I wouldn't know. If your GPA is a 1.0, like let's say you had all Ds, you're not going to pass. 
No. Oh, yeah, that's true, right? Yeah. So, no, I mean, it's technically you didn't fail, but but you're definitely in hot water and at risk of failing. So there you have, that's my answer. They're at risk of failing, which we know the promotion dies. So there's that. I don't know, man. I, I, I can't give this promotion an F. I just can't. It's just dying. And it's unfortunate. Poor every, I don't yeah, like every, this. is this any different than, than world-class dying doc? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Why do you say not, that? Well, first of all, aside from the deaths, yeah, that's what I mean. It's like world class was tragic just because everybody died. Yeah, aside from that, I mean, is it any Did different? They get purchased. Um, Smokey, yeah, world class limped along in different iterations. Yeah, I mean, it took years. I mean, this is like it, it, it was going strong, and then bam. It was like the coronavirus just Come hit on. Smoky Mountain Wrestling. Three and a half months ago, we had The Undertaker. Yeah, and, and that's Trump what I'm Biden. saying. All right. Disability checks, Hopper. A five. A five. Another five. Wow, there yeah. you go. All right, we need to do the Government Cheese Award. Before we do it, <laughs> consider becoming a patron. TinyURL.com slash Patreon BTT. That's tinyurl.com slash Patreon BTT. Get access to 200 plus Patreon exclusive episodes only available to you when you become a patron. Appreciate all the support on Patreon that everybody's given us during this uh, pandemic. And as we say that, we need to do this government cheese. Um, I'm not going first this time. I don't know who to give it to. Sergeant Rock? Yeah, Sergeant Rock. Maybe I Sergeant Rock, but then then who's gonna get it next week? We might ride we gotta, her till the end. <laughs> we gotta wait and see. So you're going Sergeant Rock too, Doc? Yeah. I mean, who else you gonna pick? She Did beat up a dude. She beat up a dude. Did y'all consider giving it the Wolfie for yes. the comedy that we got yes. out of it? Yes. Holy shit! All right. Yeah. Yes, I did. Now. Next week will be the last episode I've ever seen. I have not seen 200, so. Okay. There you Is go. it going to get better? Is it going to get better next week? So your prayers and eat your vitamins. We'll see. All right. Well, we're going to just about get on up out of here um, as we close out uh. episode 198. There are only two more to go before we finish and wrap this thing up. This is amazing if, as I think about it. Uh, we've gone a long time. This has been a hell of a journey, but we'll close that out next week. Uh, Hopper, you got anything before we get out of here? No. He's Doc, yawning, you got dude. It. He's uh, yawning. He's have about you been to, to bed yet? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, he went to bed. He's about to go take a nap, though. Um, uh, see? I <laughs> told you. Uh, Doc, you got anything? Uh, no. <laughs> Hopper, <laughs> hit, hit the tagline. Ah, uh, book it, bitch. What the fuck? Uh-huh.